Now that you've been able to log into your student account, it's time for you to get used to where you're going to be saving things and getting things from your teacher. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a little manila folder looking yellow icon, and it is the folder. Click on it and you should get this pop-up window. It's really important for you to know how to find your folder and organize your information, so pay attention to this lesson and make sure that you complete the steps and come back to it whenever you need to. When you have this pop-up window, you're going to click on computer that you will find on the left hand side. So go to computer, click on it, and you will be able to see your student number, and you'll also be able to see the backpack. We're going to really concentrate on the student number right now. This is where you need to save your things. If you just go with the default and save wherever the computer takes you, you will be saving in my documents and not your student number. So it's really important that you're able to go to my computer, find your student number and click there. Now I want you to click on your student number and you're going to get this pop-up window. If you are a new student, it's going to look pretty much like this with nothing in it. If you're a returning student, all the work that you've done in the past should still show up. And then you want to organize your work into folders. So I'm, we're going to click on the new folder button and create a couple of folders that you're going to use this week with your work. When you click on the new folder button, you'll get an icon for the folder and it will be highlighted. You can just delete this or just type over and name your folder. The first, the first folder you're going to create will be for the tech picks, which you will be using for the technology movie lesson. So name this folder tech picks. Then click on the button again and create a second folder. And this is going to be for your chapter one assignments, which is what you're going to be working on today. So just remember whenever you save a project that you're working on and you go to File, Save As, click on Computer and go to your student number and make sure you're saving it in one of the folders that you create. That way you'll be able to find it again. If you just click on the Save on the default, you won't be able to find it again and you'll be disappointed. One final thing to remember whenever you've logged in on your computer and it's time to go, make sure that you always, always log off. So you can click on the Start button or the Windows button icon and then you'll see a section there that will let you log off. So always log off your account.